The three-year-old case has so far crossed through two criminal sessions, with one of them relating to the failure to secure a French interpreter. Today, court started on schedule with the conclusion of Robert Mutebi's testimony, who claims to have witnessed Kenneth Akena's dying confession. The doctor asked the patient what happened. The patient answered, and the people blow to me, the person putting glasses and blue shoot. They are the one who shoot me with the, with the lady putting the shoot, black shoot. Referring to police statements he made earlier, Mutebi also told the court that while he was inside Nakasero Hospital, he saw Matthew Kanyamunyu handing over the suspected killer gun to his brother Joseph Kanyamunyu. Due to ill health, Joseph Kanyamunyu was not in court and is being tried separately. Later, the court heard from witness number five who asked to testify in camera for security reasons. In the court record, he's referred to as Witness X, and he told the session that Kenneth Akena died from a gunshot wound directed to his chest below the left nipple. He added that a black bullet with a flat top was recovered in the rectum. The deceased, he added, lost a lot of blood due to some damaged internal organs. He referred to a post-mortem report which he says was made on the 13th of November 2016, a day after the alleged murder. But his testimony was interrupted by Cynthia Munwangari, who said she needed a more fluent French interpreter. Concerned about the development, Judge Stephen Movidou adjourned the hearing until 4th and 6th of next month and ordered the registrar to arrange better French interpreters for Munwangari to choose from. Matthew Kanyamunyu and his girlfriend are accused of shooting child rights activist Kenneth Akena in November 2016. Akena later died from his wounds after he was rushed to hospital. Edward Mhumza, NTV. Thank <laughs> you.